How's it going guys? Uh, we're back here. Um, spent all day trying to get my garage kind of together. Got the new toolbox today, so great right from the old one there to this one over here. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go through the whole try and get everything installed. I'm going through the instructions and everything. Um, so I'm gonna try and go through. for you. So I think we'll start, I guess probably with the cap because it's easy. We'll do the cap, um, the intake pipe, and the grunt manifold. Um, and then we'll go from there. So let me uh, start taking this one apart here. All right. All right, we'll start taking this off. All right, so we got the manifold here so we'll see how it looks. Let's take this off. So that's what you get after about 15 hours. Here's the new and the old. previous you guys can see that or not but the previous is all bent up bent up here kind of weird all right I don't know what the deal is with that oh okay I see this bracing Fucking, that's stupid. I have to probably cut this back. I think. push it all the way on because it was all bent up so I'm trying to cut it back so we can get it on there. So I'm gonna keep trying to do that for you. Aha. It seems like it wants to go a little easier. A little bit easier. Alright so I got it seated <clears throat> but it's uh it's close. The bolt holes are, uh, they're close. They just barely, they don't look like, not all of them look like they're dead on. But it should work, so. Let's see. Put the rest of these on. And, uh, let's see how they Okay. 
filter. I think it's time for a new filter, huh? It sounds good to me. Here. Pull those out. Got the reeds right here. I'm going to take those out. Fiber. Okay, we've got the pipe now. We're going to install it with the flat side towards the air box and then the intake air temp sensor to be careful with that. So Sensor still in the hole. Looks good. I'll flush it. Alright, that's it. <clears throat> Alright, now we're gonna take off the grunt manifold here. So I'll start working on that. second I'll update this in a minute
してください。Okay, guys, so since I turned the grunt manifold and took that off, I actually just pulled the tank.、Um, I pulled everything off now. The tank,、uh, the fenders, everything's sitting there. But I'm also going to do the emissions delete now. So this is part of it also, which was this secondary air injection valve was sitting、uh, up inside. Get it. Was sitting up inside here like that. So when I took the grunt manifold off, this entire piece actually just came off.、Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I'm no longer gonna use it. This was the piece they were saying you could stick that ball bearing inside here、um, if you want to keep it still there, if you want to keep it looking stock, but I'm not going to use it anymore. so I'm gonna take it off entirely. Alright. Alright, guys, just did the、uh, emissions delete and then installed this threaded plug right here into the、uh, secondary air. So you should be able to see it there. That's it.、Uh, I'm gonna put the grunt manifold back on now and then I'll put the exhaust back together. Alright, I'm doing the emissions delete. so... This hose has got to go. This was to the gas cap. We're going to take these hoses up here, run down to this Y, and then we're going to take this, it's hard to see, this hose out here. This zip tie, and this hose that's rooted to it. We're going to pull that out right now. The other side, too. Pull this out. Runs under here. And it runs down to the EVAP valve too, which I actually bought a Slavens Racing、uh, dongle to go on so I can disconnect the connector and get rid of the EVAP canister valve, check valve entirely. So I'll do that now. And、uh, alright. Alright, guys, I got the solenoid out. This line is out.、Um, but this other line. That goes to this side of the valve, is the one that runs、um, <clears throat> into the throttle body、uh, behind that engine mount and is that little nipple that is not <sighs> super easy to get to, but once you get back in there, let's see if I can see it, there it is, there, right in the center.、Um, Once I take this mount out, I should be able to get、uh, into that nipple to take that off, to then plug that, take that tube off, and then delete that line completely out. So, do that now. This bracket in the way because I don't have the right、uh, bit to get that off past without taking everything off. But I was able to sneak it, sneak it in and get it off. So that's done.、Um, Alright, on to the next.、Uh, here is the dongle plug for removing that. EVAP canister、uh, solenoid.、Uh, so, it's from Slavens Racing.、Um, just a little connector with a resistor inside to trick the check engine light. So, it'll get plugged in here and、uh, tucked up inside the 
tuck it up inside the air box. Exhaust pipe back on. Put the spool back on. And it should be should be good. Grunts back on. Springs are on. Looks good. The emissions to go on. Um, throttles in. Taken off the uh, fuel lines now, and uh, here's the stock injector with the rail, and here's the aftermarket one that's going to go straight shot down rather than it coming out and doing a 90. So I'm going to swap the line over, swap the injector over, and then this is going to be the piece that goes on the actual fuel tank on the bottom that comes out. If you can see up uh, in there, it's the two bolts, and then the ejector goes inside that hole right in the center. All right, guys. So I'm gonna also check my valves. So I'm gonna pull the uh, pull the valve cover off, and um, you know, give them a look, see how they look at. each other so we're going to spin the motor over. you want to be across top dead center so both lobes are on not on pressing down right now so we should be able to measure without any problems right. so I have the valve clearances here you can see on the intake side and then on the exhaust side so I will Get out my feeler gauges now, and we're gonna roll in that. Check them out. So I got my feeler gauge here. Um, you guys can see that's there, and within spec, going in the intake side, and that one fits nicely. Nice drag, so it feels good. Same thing with this side. Same drags nice on that side. And for the exhaust side, we got to do um, the next one up. So that would be 0, 05 to 0, 07. So here's the exhaust feeler gauge. And we'll go in and it's a little tight, a little tight there. This side is nice, this side goes through. Um, 
that this valve fits. This valve is a little, a little tight. Try again. No, it's a little bit tight, doesn't want to go. So if we drop it back down to the Leo 406, that one goes right in. So this is just a few thousandths too tight, which I don't think it'll be a huge issue. Um, but as you can see, they want it a little bit looser than it is right now. So it's about as tight as the intake. All right, guys, we're on the home stretch. Um, everything's pretty much uh, put back together now. Um, Don, pipe is on. Uh, I have the controller installed here. The wires run down. Ground's hooked up, wires are tucked away here. Uh, just put the new air filter in. Um, connector to the injectors here with the wiring routed along here. Um, the fuel line is in with the high flow fittings. Uh, looks good. And uh, since we deleted the line, I bought a um, little Husqvarna cap there. Looks nice. Um, I also bought this uh, Polysport cover here. Um, super good quality. Nice build. It's from 17 and up. They say this fits the 19s too. This kind of was kind of a pain in the butt to find, uh, but I did find one because there are a lot in the UK, but not so many distributors here um, in the United States. So. Kind of excited to put this on, but it's a whole nother thing. We gotta take the lever off. I actually scratched that and I ordered a new one because that really bugs me. <laughs> so I have a new one coming, new uh, anodized bolt plug coming. I'm gonna put both on together. So hopefully that should keep it with 15 hours. Look at how, you know what I mean? It's already getting scratched and dinged. I'd rather not have it look like that. Um, so this is going to go on. I'm going to get it buttoned up right now and then once it's buttoned up I'm going to turn it on and go through the settings for the uh, ECU. So let's uh, a few more minutes. Alright guys I got the instructions here for the uh, for the tuner box and I'm going to turn the bike on now and I'm going to go through the settings for my power bundle which are outlined here in the back if you have the intake reads and the power reads then these work well so we're going to try this out haven't done it yet let me uh, see what happens alright there we go just blinking alright press the mode button so the green is now on 4 and 5 so we want to move the green to four, like he said. Um, so we'll put it to four. And now we'll do yellow, put it at two. So that's a two. And now the red at two. Two, done. So leave this stock, leave that stock, leave that stock. Um, and that's it. It's going to flash through all the lights now. And that should be done. That was easy. Really easy. That's crazy. I thought that was going to be a little more difficult. Okay, cool. Or I'd get confused and stuff. Halfway through, I have to read the directions again. That's why you read these directions first before you start messing with crap. Um, Alright, cool. Now the flights are... Alright guys, here it is outside. All together, I'm gonna take it for a ride, and uh, I'm gonna try and uh, GoPro vlog this while I go. So we'll see what happens. Never vlogged anything before, um, so we'll see.
it definitely wants to fuck it in. Oh, man. Yeah, it's ripping. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, it wants to go. Alright, that's, that's the only uh, thing that I can say. If you hear me laugh like that, that's how you know it's the real deal. Not even two hours, get back to 